Do you want to connect your c -sharp script with your Python script and have a continuous communication between them? Whoa! This is the right video for you. But why do you want to connect your c -sharp script with your Python script, you might ask? Let me tell you. Because of big game engines like Unity uses c -sharp and machine learning is mainly programmed in Python. But how do you do your machine learning in Unity then? I'm not going to show you that today, but I'm going to show you a more simple example to make you understand the process. The example I'm going to show you is very simple. Just moving your cube one step at a time each 0.5 seconds, which is programmed in Python, sent over to c -sharp, and executed. If you want to download your project, it's linked in the description. So when you have downloaded my code, it's very simple to get Scott started. Just add a cube to your Unity project, take the c -sharp code, drag it on the cube, and then we can just test if it works. We can play it there in the editor, and as soon as I start my Python code, my cube starts running. And you can see here, I'm getting uh, data that received position data and moved the cube. And you can see my c -sharp script sending a message back to my Python saying, hey, I got your message Python. Do you see this message? And yes, everything is working. Now I want to try to explain the code. So the type of communication we have between our Python script and our c -sharp script is called socket communication, which is a local communication where you send one just bytes, ones and zeros. So first we assign the connection with a host and a port. And I'm not an expert of socket communication, but it works and that's all I care about. Over here, we assign the start position of the cube. So we wanted to start at 0x, 0y, and 0z. We are running this while loop every 0.5 seconds where we increase the x position by one. You see here, this position is this. So we increase the x position by y. But now we have a vector three. We want it to make it to bytes. So we convert first the vector three to a string, and then we convert the string to bytes and send it over the network. This line here is just receiving data back from the C-sharp script. Now I want to take a look at our C-sharp script. First, we're just assigning some important variables. And this receive position is extra important because this is the variable we're going to change when we get our information from our Python. But first, we just set it to vector three, zero. When we start our game, we run the start function as usual, which runs the get info function. Yeah, this is just setting up uh, the connection. And here, this send and receive data function, this is the use stuff. Here, we are receiving data from the host. We are receiving data from the Python script. So we get the data in a string, then we convert it to a byte. Don't know why it says int here, but it's good. And then we convert our bytes to a string. And if the string isn't null, so if the string is something, we go in here and we take our string and converting it to a vector three that Unity can understand. And now we're finally changing our receive position variable, but it's not actually changing the position of the cube right here, because this is in a start function and Unity doesn't like that. So we're actually here in this update function, here we take our receive position and setting it to the player. If we go back to the code where we were just before, we can see our c -sharp script is sending back data to our Python script. So we have this message, hey, I got your message, Python. Do you see this message? We're converting this string to bytes, and then we're sending our bytes to our Python script. I hope you liked this video, and I hope you're going to make some nice c -sharp and Python projects, maybe with AI. See you in a bit.